All right, now we're going to attack the Android. This is an old HTC Sprint Android phone, and I'm running on an 802.11n and G network at 2.4 gigahertz. And as you can see right now, the phone is very unburdened. Total CPU usage in the corner about 7%, so the phone is doing nothing right now. And I've got the same Backtrack 5 R3 attacker here. It's going to run a script I wrote called Six Shooter, which I'll sh attach to this video. And over here we got the Mac OS X uh, target, showing that right now there's no uh, valid IP version 6 addresses configured except for the auto configured FE80. And over here we've got the iPad 1, which acts as a target. And as you can see, the green bar shows that a lot of the CPU is currently idle. Uh, something like 80%. It's also not doing much of anything. So, let me go back here and wake up the Android phone that falls asleep very easily. Alright, there's the Android phone. CPU usage is down to 9%. Now I'm going to start the attack and you'll see what happens. There's the attack and what it does is first it sends out six um, Router advertisements, individual packets, to appear to be a normal router, and the Mac configures to those. Then it sends out the flood of packets, which creates these extra addresses, and the Mac just crashed in just a few seconds. That was what that jump up is, and these error messages appearing at the bottom. The MacBook Air is toast. Here is the phone. Notice how the CPU usage is now at 57%. 96% and when I try to scroll nothing happens. The phone is frozen. And there is it better focused. Ah, now it fell to 9%. But it's just lying. It won't do anything. If I click these buttons at the top, I get no response at all. If I click the buttons at the bottom, like home and menu and back and such, I get nothing. Search the Android phone is completely frozen, and it will stay that way for as long as the attack continues. The Mac is toast, as you can see, and the iPad 1 sails through this with no ill effects at all. The 2.4 GHz network is not powerful enough to stop the iPad. Well, you know, perhaps I spoke too soon. I'm not getting any response from the button on the side here. Hmm. Oh, there it went. Whoa! Hey! I clicked that button a few times and it restarts. Well, the iPad 1 was taking more damage than I thought, so we've got a clean sweep here. 2.4 gigahertz, and we've killed every bloody device we've got. By the way, one thing that will come back, normally, is the Android phone. But on this occasion, I think that's even... What have I got here? It's just a Google screen coming up there. When I stop the attack... The Android phone returns to normal functioning. Yeah, there it does. I can do things like see how much, uh, see what operating system I've got and such. And it's responding just fine. So when they stop the attack, Android comes back. The other devices are not going to come back normally at all. Well, that's what I wanted to show you.